All right, y'all, Keith Dykes here with WKD Construction, and today we're gonna to hit up part two on the Schluter shower tray on a concrete slab. Like I said, this is part two. If you haven't seen part one, you need to see part one before you can see part two, because it won't make a lot of sense, so. Now in this part two video, we are going to do all of the waterproofing. I'm gonna use Curdy Band, the Schluter inside corners, some Schluter outside corners, do all the seams, do all the uh, nail heads right there. Just get, get everything watertight. Then we're gonna do a flood test. Very important part of your shower tray is a flood test. That way you, you gotta know if it's gonna, gonna hold up or not. That way if it does start leaking, you can do something about it before you carry on and tile everything. So you can see behind me that I've been doing a little tiling. So I, I give you a little peek. Oh, 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 daddy, hexagon marble. It, it's, it's been a challenge, but hey, we gonna get it. We are gonna get it. All right, so yesterday, got the dry pack mud in there and it is nice and firm. It is set up really well. And first thing I will do is install these preformed corners. These are nice. You can make them out of just the regular curdy, curdy band and, and uh, cut it, you know, and flap it and everything, but these are all done. Just go ahead and install them in the corner with the uh, Schluter all set. And then we'll come back on top with the curdy band, two inch overlap and finish this out. So I just got a small V-notch trowel. Uh, kind of eat up off some of the points a little bit, but just a V-notch trial. Just work it into that corner. Don't puncture it. I'll just take a couple knives, one to kind of hold it, and then one to smooth it. That's it. So here's the curdy band. Let's get it in the box. I think there's 50 feet in there. I think. I can't see. 33 feet. Show what you want. Two inch overlap. Right there. Sometimes I'll just take it and kind of fold it. Kind of start a crease. little bit, kind of give a little reference. Hot. It's a lot like a uh, drywall tape. If you ever use paper tape on drywall, kind of the same, kind of the same deal. Get all the air bubbles out. 
and uh, make sure the tape's embedded in there. Here I have the uh, zip tape roller. It's a multi-purpose tool. I use this thing for everything, but I do use it for Schluter waterproofing just to get it really nice and embedded in there. A little closer look at the corner and then you've got the curdy band that just overlaps two inches basically from here to here is two inches so i just stop it right there and then the wall when i put the curdy band over the seam it will come over the top and stop at the bottom which this is approximately two inches as well same with the uh, inside corner but i'm going to move my all my crap out of here and work on these two corners and then work my way around so probably won't be able to see very much now here's a tool I use for uh, tile all the time just a mud pan and uh, just kind of helps keep your knives a little cleaner that way if you, you're doing this for a while the mud doesn't build up on there it just it helps keep it a little cleaner edge but it's a little handier than digging out of a bucket So if you have any background messing with drywall, that, that's it. You'll, you'll do just fine. Yeah, basically the same thing. All right, and the corners, I don't know. I usually don't do the whole entire corner at one time. You know, it's eight feet tall, so I'm just gonna do about a four, four to five foot piece. That way it takes a little longer to work it. That way my mud still stays wet and I can get it pushed in there. I'll do this half and then I'll go and do the top side of it. And on your overlaps, Schluter specifies two inches. Oh, come on out. 
Come on, get it. tip you can use or that I do to uh, my little tape squares put my pan, mud pan on there give it a good pull yep we own it, just about to get it. Just doing a check, check in the cool of the house. And one of the last things I will install is the uh, mixing valve seal and the uh, pipe seal that goes around the uh, shower head. Pretty easy installation. Just kind of got a fat side and a skinny side. This side goes inside the wall, which that's about the thickness of your uh, pretty board. Just put it in there. I'll just take a little mud, put it around there. You can always use a white wet sponge to kind of smooth it on out. And make sure if you've got a uh, stub out temporary to uh, pressure check all your uh, shower stuff. Make sure before you put this on that you can get to those threads. I can get that thread right there and take that off. So it'd be a pain in the butt if, if, you, if your threads are inside the wall and you put that on before you take it out. You might want to go ahead and take that out and uh, then slide this piece on. All right, here is an area <clears throat> that is more uh, susceptible to water damage, which would be the curb. So let me adjust you down just a little bit. Let me see a little better. So I have the curb. The curtain band is inside the shower. It goes from the tray up and stops with the top of the curb. I'm going to take this piece, put it over the top, fold it over the top of the wall band. That way water does, you know, shingles over the top. I cut it a little shy here, which is fine, because I have an out preformed outside corner that will go just like that. And then we're, we're waterproofed. Everything water to come down, hit on top, roll back over and into here. And then on my tile or, or whatever I use for my threshold, I will uh, pitch a little bit. That way when water does get on there, it will flow back into the shower. And when using the curtain band on the outside corner, it, it will pucker. It tends to pucker sometimes. So I try to get my top and then the other corner, I just kind of work from the corner down and push it down that way. Because if you go this way and get your mud, it will tend to balloon up into this corner and then it'll just kind of, it'll just, it'll just pucker. So just try to work from your, get your one side pretty nice and flat and then just work your, other side down away from the corner and I, I just had better luck with it that way
So I put this on the concrete minute and a half and tried to crease it just a little bit, just to give it a little more defining corner. And then with this, stop it right there. Like I said, work from your corner that way. You can see right there, it's kind of puckered. And if you just roll it up, it's just gonna feed it into the corner itself and not, not get as tight. We have all of the curdy band on, on all the screw heads, the seams, the corners, inside corners, outside corners, all done. So what we gotta do now is we gotta flood test it. Make sure I did my job, know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> so uh, I didn't have a plug, so I used a little zip tape. Zip tape sticks to everything. So I'm gonna get a few buckets of water. We'll fill it up and we'll let it set overnight. Make sure we don't have any water coming out in the morning when we get here. Simple as that. All right, we have all of the curdy band in, the corners are in, everything is waterproofed. Make sure that you let all that stuff dry at least 24 hours before you decide to flood test. Need to make sure everything, all the membrane, all the thin set is super dry before you do a flood test, very important. One more bucket. So that puts it at about probably 10, 12 gallons. And we're gonna wait, do like SpongeBob, 12 hours later. We'll come back in the morning and uh, should be dry, should be dry, so we'll see how it goes. Give y'all a little closer peek. You can see you got, I don't know, probably three quarters of an inch of uh, water in there, so that's, it's, it's quite a bit of water in there. I mean, your shower's never going to have that much in there, but... All right, y'all, that is it. The time is up, 24 hours for the flood test. No leaks whatsoever, so <laughs> I did my job right. And uh, Curdy did their stuff right, so it's an awesome system. I really like using it. It's really well, like I said, it's user-friendly. Uh, it is a little on the pricey side, but it works. That's, that's, that's the, the key, key word right there, it works. I'll give you a little peek around the outside. As you can see, still got water in there. I got my mark, it's still on my mark. And then I can see around the walls, there's no water anywhere. We can see on three different sides. And it's dry. So we're gonna pull the drain. And we'll be ready to top.
Yes, sir, that's it. That's how I installed a Schluter shower tray on a concrete slab. Job complete. That is one shower entirely wrapped with the Schluter system products, the Curdy board, the Schluter shower tray, everything. We got a ton of stuff going on here in the pool house like this. I've got the Schluter done, but I'll give you a little peek. Been trimming out all the doors, one by six on top, one by four. We got ship lap, a couple vanities here. We'll get a tub installation here. There's my mini split. More ship lap. This will be a theater drop down movie screen and a bar right there. So once again, I'm Keith Dykes. This is the pool house. If you like what we're doing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching.